Greetings. My name is Jake, and today we're going to be talking about two types of false teachers that you need to be aware of when you are listening to uh, people on YouTube. Because you got to recognize that YouTube is an open platform where pretty much anybody and their grandmother can make videos and become a preacher. You don't have to take no classes. You don't have to, you don't even have to read the Bible, really. You can just, as long as you got a camera, you can sit in front of it and start mouthing off words. And if you quote a scripture here and there, people will be deceived into thinking you're legit. So there's two types of false teachers. So we're going to expose this type of false teacher first, and then we'll go over here. So this type of false teacher are the obvious false teachers. Okay, these should be obvious to pretty much everybody and their grandmother that these people are false. All right, these are your people like Tyler Doka. You know, they profess that they themselves are Jesus Christ. All right, that's pretty obvious that Tyler Doka is not Jesus. Or even the false teachers like Perry the Preacher and Jack Smack 77 that teach that Jesus died on the cross so you could basically sin all you want to. That kind of doctrine should be obvious to people that this is unlegit. You know, the idea that Jesus died so he could reconcile. Uh, sexual immorality so he could give us a license to do it that don't make any sense and that you might be able to find one or two texts of scriptures that you can make say that but you would never be able to make the whole Bible teach that kind of a doctrine all right so everybody's got their proof text but you would never be able to make passages like Hebrews 10 26 or any of those kinds of passage align with that kind of a teaching all right so if it lines up with two passages in the bible but it don't line up with all of it then i would say it's out all right so that's the first type of false teacher the ones that are fairly obvious you know chances are these type of teachers probably ain't going to deceive anybody who truly is seeking to be filled with the spirit you know there are a lot of christians that they've uh They've lost interest in really living a Christian life. They want to go back to a life of just normality. And those are the kind of people that would be attracted to this. But most people who seriously wanting to know the Bible probably ain't going to be misled by these. Now, here's the other type of false teacher over here. We'll put them in the right seat in this video, even though it might look like the left for you guys because my camera's mirrored. But I'll put these over here. These are the people who we're going to call half and half Christians, all right? They're kind of like the drink, you know, half and half, half tea, half lemonade. They're kind of like them because they preach half truth and half error, ha half heresy. And uh, these people have an actual potential chance of deceiving some of us because they teach things like repentance and holiness and godly living. But they also teach heresies that they mix with it okay so they use repentance and holiness as a decoy so they can give you the deadly teaching when you subscribe to their channel all right so like if i took a big bowl and i was mixing up vanilla pudding and i uh, grabbed the bottle of chili pepper and i put that in the vanilla pudding that would ruin the whole pudding right Ew, chili pepper and pudding that would ruin the whole recipe in the same way when they preach the truth mixed with a bunch of heresy, it ruins the message, all right? So I'll give you an example of this so you can see where I'm coming from. And I can't think of a better example than this. There used to be an old man, and he's passed away now, but there used to be an old man on YouTube who taught repentance, holiness, deny yourself, follow the Spirit, all good doctrine. But his main message was that he believed that the Bible you know, the book, the Bible, is the mark of the beast. That was his message. That's the name of his YouTube channel. The Bible's the mark of the beast. So, although he would preach repentance, turn from your sin, he was mixing that with this weird doctrine of thinking that the Bible is the mark of the beast. Now, we know that's not true. The mark of the beast is 666, but he was trying to say that the scriptures inspired by the Holy Spirit was actually from the devil which is blasphemy. So you see how he was using the videos about repentance and holiness as a decoy to get you to subscribe to the channel, and then he would teach you 
that his real message that the Bible's the mark of the beast. So you see how a preacher like this is actually not working for the Lord. He is uh, seeking to deceive people who believe the truth about repentance and holiness into thinking the Bible's the devil's mark. So you see how that that's what you call a half and half uh, preacher, someone who preaches half truth, half error. This could also be true of people who teach that certain sins are okay. Like maybe everything they teach is the truth, but they want to compromise on the sin of homosexuality. Or they want to compromise on the sin of masturbation. I see a lot of them, or, or I've seen some of them. Or they want to compromise on the sin of cussing. And it's like, no, it don't do you no good to preach the truth if you're going to compromise on everything else, you know. So be very careful what you listen to. All right? God bless.